we have a question here from an atheist, so we've got to read that. Double bass. Thanks for being here, mate. He says, I have a question. As an atheist, I am scared of the idea of eternally burning in a lake of fire. Mm, when too. I die here on earth and I have not become convinced that God exists, what will happen to me? <sighs> That's a great question, isn't it? Uh I have uh, I have a lot of hope in God's mercy. So all we offer in the church is the ordinary means of salvation. So the way that we know is the way of the sacraments, the way of uh, faith in Christ. And so I can only share what I know will lead us to a relationship with him and an eternal happiness. But we have hope for everyone. We have hope in God's mercy that he will take somebody who has really tried, and I, and I think that would be my, you know, just uh, my reflection question for our uh, questioner. You know, are you, are you really trying? Are you really willing to let God into your life? Are, are you able to, to say a prayer? I think um, there's a guy at Penn State who's been preaching in front of the Willard Building for like 30 years. I'm not sure if he is, still is today, but he was as of at least 10 years ago. And uh, I remember walking past there one day when I was considering myself an atheist, and he said, you can't really be an atheist because you can't be certain that there is no God. You have to at least admit the possibility. And so if you're agnostic, then wouldn't you want to find out? And I, and I would say the first way to find out is certainly asking questions like this. I give uh, uh, the viewer credit for that. And then just trying to say a prayer. God, if you exist, I want to know you. Um, I think How's you said it? a prayer like that. Yeah, that was my prayer. What well, do you say, Lord, if you exist, show me in a way that I would understand. Um, I also think Pascal's wager is often misunderstood for a number of reasons. It's not an argument for God's existence, obviously, uh, nor is it an argument to shut down your intellect and just accept any old thing. But it seems to me that if you have two available, say, live options before you and you can't decide between the two, um, it's not irrational to ask, well, what do I get from accepting or rejecting either mm. of these things? And so, you know, obviously, if you consider the alternatives and atheism makes more sense to you, then it, it might seem uh, rather, what would you say, uh, not hypocritical? That might not be the word, but to, to accept Christianity. But that said, if God doesn't exist, I'm not sure why we should be terribly concerned with being moral or acting morally. Right. Um, but I do think that's a compelling argument that one of the things Pascal says, right, if you've got these two available options before you say they are Catholicism and atheism, and you can't really decide between the two. He says, OK, well, just just bet on God, as it were. And that's rather crass. But uh, God stoops to conquer. And perhaps you can begin there. And then he says to do things that Catholics do. Uh, you say, well, I don't really feel it. OK, well, do what they do and you will feel it. So begin right. to use holy water, begin to receive the sacraments if you're baptized, these sorts of things to pray in these. I think, I think, uh, I think Ratzinger says something similar in Introduction to Christianity. Mm. Basically, this is a meeting point of believers and non-believers is, is on the point of uncertainty. <laughs> so we all, we all have doubt and, and doubt is a healthy thing because there's room for freedom and so there's room for faith. But he says, Let's act as if God exists. And what does that look like? Mm -hmm. So just very exactly what you're saying. You've said uh, more clearly, but yeah, it's a beautiful uh, invitation. And I, and I think ultimately, I mean, that I, I expressed it poorly, but I think in my, my own journey, I came to a point that I was willing to take a step forward and try it out. And that was the that fundamental step of faith. Okay, I'm, I, I looked at it long enough from the outside. It seems compelling to me. There are good people on the inside. I'm going to... Take a step. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.